Our next speaker is Hasib Sultan Asad from Nas Islamabad. Blessed be the sacred land, the castle of Islam, the guardians of faith. Delighted be the bounteous realms, the bearers of the flag of Muslim unity, a symbol of high resolve, claiming to be the leaders of the future that are the miseries of today. Blessed be the citadel of faith, where faith is limited to the raw identity of being a Muslim. Blessed be the goal to our ambition, where our lives revolve around craving for money and power, where we desire the comforts of life but want to die the demise of Ali, where we wish the police to oversee our crimes but demand the justice of Umar, where we wish to live in Paris, New York, and London, but want to die in Mecca, and where we won't spare a penny of bribe, but accuse our leaders to be corrupt. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to the land of pure, where on an average 20,000 cases are registered against corruption and millions go unnoticed where the country's accountability bureau does not consider the case of a hundred million dollars. What a nation we are where a mother kills her three children because she cannot feed them and here our lords lavish six meals a day. Where the future of this nation educates under the shades of trees and here our lords send their children to foreign countries where the dead slaughtered and harassed daughters of the nation yell for justice and here our lords are sitting in their robes where the cases of corruption go on and on in the courts and here the poor man dies before it's warded and where a worker works day and night walks with blood and sweat and earns ten dollars a week and here our lords are guilty for billions of dollars corruption all hail the great nation our leaders might be corrupt but power does not corrupt people people corrupt power my lord i am the resident of this postmodern civilization where i want to trust my species but my eyes betray me where the voices of terror, terror, and the menace of corruption jingles in the tomb of human graveyard. One question, one thought. Who is guilty? Was it our great guy who was witness taking a salary of one rupee? Or is it our cursed nation? Was it the great poet who infused spirit into the dead bodies of the Muslims? Or is it the today's disabled falcon? Was it the great and strong brotherhood of Islam? Or is it the today's immoral and dishonest society? Today we need to take a step. Either we and this or this ends us. With this, I thank you.